Leonardo Flores with Code Pink. I'm reporting from La Paz, Bolivia. Code Pink sent a delegation to observe yesterday's elections, and the news came late last night that the mass had won in a resounding victory, taking over 50% of the vote, meaning that there is no second round, meaning that Luis Arce is the president elect. Uh, these are based on unofficial results, but they're not exit polls. They're based on pictures of the tally sheets of different voting centers. And uh, what's, what we're waiting for now is for the TSC to cert certify these results. And that can happen either, the TSC is the country's electoral authorities. That can happen either as early as Wednesday. Uh, they can take as long as Sunday by by law. But given that Janine Añez, the coup leader, has already you know, announced and recognized the last victory, as has Luis Almagro, the Gen Secretary General of the OAS, the Organization of American States, he also recognized the victory. This is really important in order to you know, prevent uh, a coup from taking place, another coup from taking place, and also to keep the country calm. As you see behind me, you know, people are out on the streets. It's a normal Monday. Last week, people were very nervous. They were kind of stocking up on food, stocking up on gasoline. They they didn't know what this week would bring, but it's bringing normalcy, at least in La Paz. We'll see what happens throughout the day and throughout the week in eastern Bolivia, where you have, you know, uh, more opposition support than, than you do here in La Paz. Uh, this is a really tremendous victory for the Bolivian people who have suffered enormously over the past 11 months due to this coup and due to the regime that has violated human rights and violated Bolivian law. Um, it's also a, a triumph of you know, not just democracy, but of socialism. So given that the two other candidates represented neoliberalism and represented fascism. And so people have you know, taken note that over the past 14 years, Bolivia has grown and developed and it's been one of the strongest economies in the region until, of course, the Añez government came in, until the coup happened. Uh, so I think people are looking forward to uh, the country being stable again. We're going to be reporting it from here all week and keeping folks updated on what's happening on the ground.